65 million years ago, dinosaurs ruled the Earth. They dominated each time period they were in, becoming the kings of the animal kingdom. Then suddenly, that all changed. An asteroid came for Earth and wiped all the dinosaurs out, causing them to go extinct. But what if things were different? Time to turn back the clocks over 65 million years to see just what course evolution would have taken if dinosaurs still roamed Earth. In what ways would their bodies have changed over this time? How would they adapt to our planet's changing environment? And would some dinosaurs remain at the top of the food chain? A food chain that now includes you? This is What If, and here's what would happen if dinosaurs never stopped evolving. Okay, before we reimagine the course of evolutionary history, let's explore just what kind of catastrophic series of events could have led to the extinction of so many dinosaur species in the first place. Going back about 66 million years into our planet's past, the Cretaceous period would be nearing its end but not before going out with a bang. A big one. No, not that big bang. An asteroid named Chicxulub with a diameter of about 10 kilometers hurtled through space and our atmosphere to its final destination around the Yucatan Peninsula in modern-day Mexico. The impact of this giant hunk of space rock released an amount of energy equivalent to about 100 trillion tons of TNT. This explosion was billions of times more powerful than the atomic bombs dropped by the United States in World War II. In the immediate aftermath, it led to massive tsunamis and widespread fires and filled the atmosphere with so much debris that it blocked the sun. Temperatures dropped, food chains were disrupted, as a result, 75% of all life vanished from Earth. Luckily, in our scenario, they'll never know what didn't hit them. Okay, when you look back through the evolutionary history of life on Earth, it's important to remember that it's always been a game of survival, and only the fittest species survive. That would mean that of all the dinosaur species that ever existed, not all of them would survive the millions of years of natural selection to still be around today. But let's see if a couple of our most famous prehistoric friends make it through this genetic gauntlet, starting at the top of the food chain. One of the greatest apex predators of all time, the Tyrannosaurus rex. Many millions of years ago, a T-Rex would have used some of its highly sophisticated senses to hunt prey. These beasts likely had a range of vision similar to or better than hawks and eagles. The science suggests that throughout the T-Rex's evolution, their sight improved as their facial structure became narrower and their eyes grew larger. After many more millions of years of evolution, well, their vision might have improved to unfathomable levels. Instead of spotting prey hundreds of meters away, they could see their next meal several kilometers in the distance. But what about other parts of their bodies? Well, besides their notoriously tiny arms, the T-Rex was a towering figure, standing just under four meters tall. Over time, natural selection might have favored T-Rexes with longer, more muscular arms. By now, they might have developed better agility and range of motion to become even more formidable predators. And they wouldn't be the only predators that may have become even more dominant over time. Velociraptors were famous for their speed, agility, and hunting techniques. And they were intelligent, too. Okay, maybe not as bright as movies like Jurassic Park make them seem, but certainly they had a leg up on some of their dumber plant-eating prey. With millions more years of evolution, these creatures would have developed highly advanced hunting techniques. You know, another thing Hollywood doesn't show you is that evidence suggests that raptors were likely covered in feathers and that their evolutionary trajectory is very closely linked to the emergence of birds. 
Imagine over time that these feisty predators evolved to have wings and could hunt helpless prey like humans from the skies. Well, more likely it would be your pets you'd have to worry about. Velociraptors were smaller dinos, only about 45 kilograms and less than two meters in length. But keep an eye on Rufus and Garfield, and maybe on the small children too. Now, in terms of dinosaurs that already dominated the skies, well, the aviation skills of pterodactyls would have also continued to develop and improve. By the time they went extinct, these creatures were the largest known flying animals, with wingspans ranging from 2 to 11 meters. Ugh. If they continued to adapt to our planet's changing atmosphere and geographical shifts, well, who's to say these gigantic flying reptiles wouldn't have continued to grow? You imagine a day in the park ruined by the surprise visit of one or more pterodactyls the size of a small building. Now, that's something you'd have to worry about. Not all dinosaurs would have evolved to become bigger, badder predators. Okay, maybe gentle giants like the Brontosaurus could have continued growing in size, but they might have developed other features to make them less vulnerable to predators. For example, their skin. Natural selection might have favored those with increasingly thicker outer layers that could withstand the powerful bites of creatures like the T-Rex or whatever it is the T-Rex would be known as now. Like for the other species, there'd be so many enormous environmental changes between their era and now. The Brontosaurus was a herbivore, and as plant species underwent their own evolutionary process, well, these dinosaurs would likely have developed a more complex digestive system, similar to those of mammals. And this brings up another interesting dilemma. If these creatures never went extinct and kept evolving, uninterrupted by a pesky space rock, would mammals like you be here today? Yeah, our earliest human ancestors evolved among creatures like mammoths and saber-toothed tigers, but now that we're adding in all these other species, only the fittest would survive. And in that case, human evolution could have taken an entirely different course too. Natural selection would have likely favored genes that would make us smaller and faster to avoid being eaten. And with the possibility that we'd be living among other highly intelligent species like raptors, our social structures might be completely different too. Instead of being the most dominant species on the planet, well, there's a strong chance we'd have to compete with these other dangerous predators. If at any moment we could be raided by a pack of vicious T-Rexes, would we ever have settled down in one place? Instead of human civilization evolving in great communities, well, maybe we'd only survive as solitary, nomadic hunter-gatherers. Evolution is a mysterious puzzle that only time knows the answers to. If we reverse the course of one event, like the collision of the Chicxulub, well, there's basically no limit to how different your world could be today. Eh, which makes me wonder, what would happen if an asteroid the same size hit Earth today? Or maybe a bigger asteroid? Well, that's a story for another What If.